sees Bradley Wright Phillips. We're going to start with our first question, Rodrigo Serrano. Rodrigo, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Bradley, how are you? What's up, Rodrigo? How are you? I want to ask you, uh, for the past two seasons, uh, LAFC has been very dominant at home. Um, I think the fans were a big part of that. Do you guys think, for some reason, that the inconsistency of this season has to do somewhat with, like, not having, like, that 12 men behind you guys? It's hard to say for sure, but with a fan base like we have, I'm sure it'd be a miss for anyone, you know? When, when games have got tough for us, you know, I, I certainly could have dealt, uh, done with a, a fan base like we have, so... You never know what the real reason is, but I think that does have a part to play in. Thank you. Uh, our next question to Vince LaRosa. Vince, go ahead and unmute yourself. Bradley, as a, a goal scorer that's scored so many goals in this league, you've definitely had to break out of little slumps before. What, what kind of things are, are you telling the, your teammates right now when you guys are getting chances, but they're, they're just not going in? Um, I don't know if we've really worried about goals um, too much. I think, yeah, the last two games have been shut out. Like, we barely scored five, you know, so it isn't a, I, I think the talent around the squad attacking wise um, is very good. Um, I'm not trying to bring that kind of negative energy into the change room talking about uh, finishing. So everyone's proving they can do it. We just got to get back to winning ways. Thank you, Vince. Uh, next question to Giovanni Garcia. Gio, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Bradley, uh, just, just to add on to that, you just mentioned how much uh, talent you guys have on the offensive end. Is it, is it very frustrating when you guys have those opportunities and capitalize on the opportunities to potentially uh, win the game? Yeah, well, like you guys said, I've been playing for a while. and These kind of things happen. You know, that's why when you're on a great scoring streak, it's, it's talked about so much because it's not easy to do. You know, I just think we've got to keep grinding away. We're getting some opportunities. And we're just, yeah, me included, we're just not taking them enough. That will not last forever. That won't last forever. So there's nothing to worry about. Thank you, Gio. And next question to Josue Lopez. Josue, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Bradley, how are you? Good, thank you. Hey, how do you feel to go for 90 minutes? Do you feel well physically, considering the sequences that you came on the, on the team? Yeah, I feel, I feel um, much fit. I feel match fit. I don't think it's got anything to do with my fitness now. I just think that we've got good young players that are ready to come on. If you know, if I'm not doing the job, or if you know, Bob thinks something he's changing, then he, he brings on players because we have a fortunate in that way. But like I said a few weeks ago, if I'm if, if they need me to do ninety, I can do ninety. Thank you. No and thank you. That's gonna end our questions for Bradley today. Thanks a lot, Bradley. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.
Thanks for everybody's patience. We will be joined by LAFC head coach Bob Bradley in just a moment.
We're now joined by LAFC head coach Bob Bradley. We'll let Bob start with his opening remarks and then open it up to the group for questions. Bob, go ahead and begin. We're ready for a, another home game. Uh, Portland always a tough opponent. Um, everybody in the league right now is uh, facing the challenges of uh, short turnarounds and one day travel, but it doesn't change that when you get the chance to play at home, the excitement and making sure everybody's ready to go. So uh, that's been the focus for uh, the last two days and we look forward to the match tomorrow night. Thanks, Bob. We're gonna open the questions with Rodrigo Serrano. Rodrigo, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello, Bob, how are you today? Good, uh, Rodrigo. Wanna ask you about Latif Blessing. I mean, we see him played in every single position. He's a very versatile player. Uh, where do you like him the most? Where do you think he can help the most this team at the moment right now? Uh, for the moment, it's right back. Um, we need him there. We've talked to him. Uh, the way things have gone, it's taken us a little longer than we would have hoped to get Andy Nahar ready to, to play uh, all the time. And the situation, uh, we've challenged Latif to be the best right back. We've worked with him now every day to try to help him uh, understand a few things. He's played some important moments for us as right back in the last two, well, last year and then in the uh, early part of this year, and he can do the job. So in the moment, that's still the focus. Depending upon other things, we know that he can use his versatility and play in other roles. As we get more players healthy, then it gives us more options. But for now, right back. Thank you. Next question to Giovanni Garcia. Gio, go ahead and unmute yourself. Thanks, Ben. Uh, hey, Bob, two quick questions for me. Um, what's the status of, uh, of Atuesta? Um, will he be available for you guys this weekend? And second, um, what, did, what did you see of Andy Nohar's play? I think he only played 45 minutes. Um, will he be available to play more in this game? Let's do Andy first, because uh, I was just talking about him. Uh, it was great to get him on the field at the start. Uh, from, the, from the beginning, the idea was to limit it to 45 minutes. Uh, he needs game time. Uh, when, when you're returning from injury, uh, now you have to be smart about, with a short turnaround, how many minutes he plays in the next game. So he's uh, available for tomorrow, and we hope in the coming games to keep building him up uh, and trying to push him more and more into uh, uh, an important role with our team. Uh, Edward has been back in some limited training uh, he's not ready to start, and we're still discussing whether we will have him in our 20 to perhaps be able to give us a little bit if needed. Um, but I'm very pleased with what I've seen with his progress in the last few days. Thank you. Next question to Vince LaRosa. Vince, go ahead and unmute yourself. Bob, aside from the match uh, against San Jose where you score five goals, what's been the coaching staff's assessment of uh, kind of of the attack, the attack in general. Do you feel like you're creating enough and the right kind of chances? What what are you guys seeing? Uh, from game to game, uh, it varies, but overall we've created a lot of chances. Uh, in the last stretch, we've not been as sharp as we've needed to be. Um, you know, certainly if you look back on the. Uh, the Galaxy game away, uh, even, even Salt Lake, uh, which is a different kind of game. Some really good opportunities. Um, all of our attackers um, have dropped a little bit in their form right now. I mean, Diego has still been our best player this year, no doubt about it. His commitment and his leadership has, has really developed in a way that we're really proud. Um, but he's had some moments where uh, in the last few games, he hasn't taken certain chances, whether he should cut across a guy, whether he should just go dead on the run with the ball. Uh, you know, he had the one play against Salt Lake where uh, Sifu gave him a really good ball. And instead of taking the ball directly toward the goal on his right foot, he tried very early to cut across the guy to his left and took a poor touch. And that play was, uh, didn't develop. Um, but look, I, I want to be clear. The standards for Diego are high, and I, he's still been uh, 
our best player. No two ways about it. Uh, Brad in the last stretch, his sharpness has dropped a little bit. He's talked about it. We just got to get him going again. And everyone knows that Brian, since we've returned, has, has not been in good form. And then the decision with the young players, what do you do? And with everything going on, uh, I've told him over and over that he's a good guy, that we think he's talented. Uh, we've got to help him clear things up. There's still too many times on the field where he's trying to go so fast that the connection between his ideas and his feet aren't where they should be. And so we're just trying to show confidence in him and see if we can help him through a, a, a rough period. Thank you. Next question to Josue Lopez. Josue, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Bob. You spoke about Diego earlier. Um, he's such a young guy, barely on his early uh, 20s. He has taken such an important role uh, lately, even uh, as a captain. What do you tell a guy like him to keep him motivated? As Like you said, he has been the best player so far. When we started this year, the hope was that uh, we could continue to develop uh, Diego, Edward Atuesta, Mark Anthony K, Eddie Segura, uh, not only as players, but as leaders, because those guys have all been so important for us. And uh, all of them uh, have shown some signs. Certainly, uh, when we were in Orlando, I really felt strongly that Diego and Edward were stepping up to a different level. Uh, and then, as we know, in the game against Orlando, Edward came away with an injury and we've not had him back since. Um, but for, for all of those players, um, taking more responsibility, knowing how to do that, knowing how to take responsibility, but still make sure that the things that you do well on the field don't change, that you don't all of a sudden start trying to do things that aren't your best way of playing so we are working with all of them because I think those are key guys to uh, take more responsibility and, and be leaders along with Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. And we got one more from Vince LaRosa. Vince, go ahead and unmute yourself. Bob, one, one more quick one for me. I just want to know uh, what conversations you've had with the league regarding what's going on with the fires, the air quality. I know, uh, you know, Portland is coming from an area where they, you know, their, their women's team had to have a match canceled because of the air quality. Just could you share with us what conversations are going on? John has been the one who has spoken to the league uh, and Sean uh, Kupiak, our athletic trainer. Uh, we monitor air quality every day. Uh, it's been worse at the performance center than it has been here at the stadium. So we've moved to training two days in a row. Um, but the conversations, with the league are through John and through Sean. Thanks, Vince. And one more question here from Josue Lopez. Josue, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Bob, it's, it's been a crazy season. With tomorrow's game in risk of being canceled, is this going to have a negative effect on the training you have done to, for this game? or it will be a good opportunity to work in areas where it's needed? Uh, you mentioned that it's been a crazy year. And, and so um, the work every day is to keep people going, staff, play, try to keep them focused, try to keep guys positive, uh, try to help them understand that uh, uh, we're lucky to be able to come in, train, prepare for games, uh, that, that this is, there's so many things going on in the country and in the world that we still need to consider ourselves fortunate and not ever be afraid of things. We've got to be strong as a group. So uh, again, we'll, we'll let the decision about air quality uh, lead up to others. And we try to control the part that, that is, on, is on us. And that's just how we try every day to uh, um, fight through a difficult stretch and learn what it means when things don't come easy and, and find ways to be better for it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And our last question for you today, Bob, you know, 
can you just talk a little about the the young guys like Bryce and Mohammed who got their first start last match? You know, you spoke about it after the match, but how is it getting those guys back in training after that first start, you know, continuing to develop post? Yes, we've got some very young fighters in addition to Bryce and, and uh, Mohammed Traore. Uh, uh, we've got the three academy players, Christian Torres and Eric Duenas and Tony Leone. And so our ability to uh, uh, find ways every day with training, when guys do get the chance to play, then it gives you uh, the ability to look at game action and help them with different plays so that, that the things that you're working on in training are easily connected to the games. So, um, that's part of the process. And so uh, I, what I meant after the game was getting those guys 45 minutes is really important in their development. And we continue to look for opportunities with all our young players. Really appreciate your time today, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.